tonight we're doing cocktail lockdown and I'm going to introduce you to a very straightforward cocktail to make. It's a rum based cocktail. It's called the Bee's Knees and with the right ingredients and the right tools it's a very simple cocktail to make. To start making this cocktail you'll first need your cocktail shaker. I'm using a standard cocktail shaker. The first ingredient will be your runny honey which you blend with water. It's three spoons of honey to one spoon worth of water which I've pre-measured out. You put your three spoons of honey into the base of the shaker with the one spoon worth of water and then you're going to stir this with the next ingredient which is 20 mils worth of lemon juice. That's one, two and three. And then your one spoon worth of water. Now if you're very organised, what you'll do is, especially if you're doing it with more than one person, is pre-arrange and order all the ingredients you need in advance, which means there's less effort when it comes to making the cocktail. So I've already pre-squeezed my lemon juice, which I'll add now. And the lemon juice, we're just putting in 20 mils worth of that. And what you want to do is blend the honey and the lemon juice until it all dissolves at the base of your shaker using your bar spoon. This should only take 10 to 15 stars worth. And that's it perfectly blended now. Next ingredient you want to add is your orange juice. 15 mils worth of oranges, again, freshly squeezed orange juice, not from concentrate. If you've got fresh oranges, even better, it's going to make the drink taste that bit more fresher than it would do with even using fresh orange juice. Add that. Next thing you want to add is your rum. We're going to put 60 mils worth of rum in this. It's quite a boozy cocktail, but the honey sweetens it, the lemon gives adds the sour element, and it's all about the right balance. If you were to use another rum, like Havana rum, then it's called a honeysuckle martini or a honeysuckle daiquiri. But in this case, we're using Jamaican rum, and that's why it's called the bee's knees. And that's our 60 mils. After that, you want to add ice. Probably the most common one you're going to be able to get a hold of is cubed ice. I like to make my own ice at home, and I've got these large spheres, which are rather good. Just drop that into your shaker. Once you've added your ice, cubed ice, or an ice cube like the one I use, the sphere ice cube, add into your cocktail shaker with all the ingredients and make sure you give it a really thorough shake, maybe 10 to 15 shakes quite hard. If you're using a Boston shaker, which uses the glass base, and the stainless steel base, you need a Hawthorne strainer to strain it out. However, because it's a stand shaker with a strainer built in, the only thing you're going to need next is your fine sieve, which is what you're going to pour your cocktail through. Just make sure there's no small, fine bits of ice that get in, or any pulp. Just to get rid of the last few bits, just going to mix that in with my bar spoon to get rid of the last bits. There we go. And then to finish off, I'm going to garnish this with a lemon wedge or a lemon peel. And I've got a lemon peel ready prepared. And just twist it into the glass. And there we go. That there is the bee's knees. Here's to fighting, stealing and drinking. If you fight, fight for a friend. If you steal, may you steal a lover's heart. And if you drink, please drink with me.